What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another MLB The Show guide video. Today, we're going to be going over how to complete monthly awards and Team Affinity Set 3 as quickly as possible. So I don't want to keep you waiting. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. All right, so first, we're going to go over how to complete the June monthly awards as quickly as possible. First thing you're going to want to do with this is go into June Tops Now, uh, the Tops Now moments, and make sure you've completed all the Tops Now moments, week one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So go through, finish all these moments, get those knocked out, that's going to net you some of these uh, some of these tops now cards that you're going to need to use to get PXP with. Okay, so knock out these moments and then go in here to your tops now missions. Okay, so now your missions here are with June tops now flashbacks. Get 250 PXP with the captains. Get 250 PXP um, with the flashbacks and captains. Get 250 PXP and then innings with uh, flashbacks and captains. So in those for those missions, the cards you're going to want to get are the uh, the flashbacks here which are Edward Cabrera, Tyone, Walsh, and Patrick Wisdom. And then the captains are Arnado and Corey Kniebel. Okay, so get those guys. That's going to be your uh, your top snow uh, flashback and captain missions. That's going to be easy to do. Just put them in your lineup and then go into a conquest. Preferably what I did is for the leftover uh, PXP that I needed, I went into one of the newer set three uh, Team Affinity conquests and knocked one of those maps out real quick. So that's what I did to do it. You could use uh, any conquest you haven't used or you can go into play versus CPU to get this PXP done. Now that's the first part. And then the tops now PXP missions, it's 1,000 PXP for week one, two, three, and four players. So 1,000 PXP each. Basically what you're going to want to do is just after you finish the moments, take all the cards that you unlock by doing the moments and add them to your squad. Go into, like I said, a conquest or play versus CPU game. Get that PXP, grind it out. It shouldn't take you very long. And a nice bonus is once you finish this Tops Now program, one, you get 99 Domingo Herman, who is, let me move the camera for you guys real quick. Whoops, wrong thing. There we go. Absolutely stacked. I mean, some people say he's like not as great as they thought he would be. But they can't stack the hits per nine too much. It's 115 hits per nine, 120 uh, clutch, 99 break, 99 below. Good pitch mix, uh, curveball, sinker, circle change, and four seam. He's definitely usable uh, right now in the game because we lost a lot of starting pitchers like Bob Gibson and stuff. So you could try him out on your squad. Good bonus there. But the reason you want to get tops now done first before you go into monthly awards is because of this optional collection here. This is going to help you get this done as fast as possible to get the Otani card. As you can see, I've already completed it. 100 uh, stars earned towards Otani. I have him now. Uh, but how it's going to work is once you finish and get all the tops now cards, you uh, you collect the uh, the cards from each week, like the end game card from each week. And you're going to get 10 stars towards the program. That's a nice boost for y'all. So that's going to net you uh, 10 stars, which will then give you the first few players of this program, like Charlie Blackman and uh, Ron Guidry, which are key to getting um, Shohei Otani. And then you're going to get uh, Taylor Rogers, a 95 overall pack, and as well as Key Brian Hayes. So that's going to help you build your squad initially with monthly awards players. So once you've done that, you've collected tops now, you've added that to the collection. Then what you're going to want to do, go into these moments here, and uh, finish all the monthly awards moments. Now, let me show you a little tip to help you guys get this done a little bit faster. It's actually easier to back out of the game and just go back to the uh, to the main menu here, the main menu, and scroll down to Quick Play where it says Moments. So go into Moments here, and it's actually much easier to then just go in and complete these moments this way. So you go in the June monthly awards here. It's going to be a lot easier to access the moments, moment to moment. So when you finish the moment, it'll bring you right back to this screen. You just scroll down and go to the next one. Whereas you'll have to go back into the program, go down to the moment, and then select the moment if you're doing it through the Diamond Dynasty menu. So if you do it through the main menu, it's much quicker and easier to finish these moments out. Same with Team Affinity moments, which we're going to get into later. Same with the Team Affinity moments, which are um, right here. So much easier. Just click it. Boom, 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 boom. Five done. Then you can go down to the next one instead of having to go back out to the menu, re-click it, etc. So on and so forth. So you completed the monthly awards moments. And then you're basically going to do the same thing you did with the Tops Now program. So go back into Diamond Dynasty here. So again, once you've completed the moments and you've completed the Tops Now collection, that's going to get you about halfway through this program, which is going to net you a ton of cards to be able to build your squad with an entire uh, monthly awards lineup. Make sure you're always using monthly awards pitchers when playing these conquest games to get that PXP. And so your stat missions right here, those will, those will come naturally as you're playing the game. And then your PXP missions will come naturally as well. I think I finished the entire West uh, Team Affinity conquest map 
and I was able to nearly get Otani. I had a couple games where I, I didn't score much. Uh, that was kind of on me, uh, but also on the, the, the crazy defensive CPU in this game. But so at the end of it, I think I was a little bit off from this last mission here, the 5,000 PXP um, to get Otani. So I just went into a play versus CPU game, uh, played a quick, like, I think I only played for like six or seven innings, played at like a really small stadium and got the PXP that I needed. Now that's another option for y'all is if you don't want to waste, if you don't want to do conquest, which I don't know why you wouldn't, because you're going to be needing to do that anyway to get team infinity done. But if you didn't want to play in conquest and you wanted to just go and play versus CPU. Just load up like Costco headquarters, one of the uh, one of the better uh, C uh, CPU grinding stadiums in the game, like a small high elevation stadium, and just hit tanks over and over and over again. That'll get you a lot of quick X XP, PXP as well. So that's another way to do it. But so definitely, yeah, it's, it goes moments, tops now collection, build your squad with monthly awards players, and then grind out the PXP missions and the stat missions. Should not take you very long. Okay, now on to Team Affinity and how to complete this as quickly as possible. It's very similar to uh, previous years, but I just want to give you guys a review. And people that are new to the game, definitely keep watching this video. It's going to help you get team through Team Affinity as quickly as possible. And they've added a new Team Affinity uh, collection for this season, which gives you some amazing cards like this 99 Corbin Carroll, uh, 99 Jose Ramirez. So it's, it's going to be imperative that you 100% all the team affinity divisions and we're going to show you how to do that as quickly as possible right now all right so you're in the team affinity menu you go in you're going to want to do the moments first for every division now i showed you the the shortcut on how to get to the moments as quickly as possible and knock them out fast at the main menu go down to quick play you click on moments and then you go into team affinity here and you just knock each one out one by one and finish those out that's going to that's going to actually save you some time doing it this way as opposed like i said to the down dynasty menu like i said it's quicker doing it that way okay now step two after you finished all the moments is go in to each individual uh team affinity showdown and complete that as well that's going to net you twenty thousand team affinity points um so go in complete every moment that you can in team affinity and complete every showdown for each division in team affinity there's three showdowns um one for each section, so one for the west, one for the central, and one for the east. Um, you complete those three showdowns, and you complete all the moments. You'll have a good, solid base to start off with. Now, once you've done those two things, for each division, you'll be at just under uh, 30k for Team Infinity points. Now, you're going to get this Captain's Pack. So, basically, in the Captain's Pack is a card that you're going to need to get stats with, which is down here, the Captain Stat Missions. So, you're going to get six of these cards. Um... Build your team with those cards. I would suggest taking as many hitters as you can and maybe uh, like one pitcher to pitch with um, so you can knock his stat mission out really quick. And then what you're going to want to do with this initial team build uh, as well is if you have like a division that you want to complete as quickly as possible because you're not going to have enough cards at this point to build a whole squad yet. So what you're going to want to do is you could do these team build PXP missions. Say you really want, let's say, I don't know, let's say you go into the AL East here, right? And you really want to get this Gary Sanchez uh, catcher card first, okay? Say this is the card that you were you were dying to get. You can't build a full squad yet, but what you would do is you can do these team build uh, PXP missions before you get enough cards to build a full squad. So you would slot in all the captain cards that you already have, the six that I told you about. You would slot those into your your uh, your team. Then you can then use Orioles, Red Sox, Yankees, Rays, or Blue Jays. Um, and these are repeatable, so you only need 2,000 PXP to get 5,000 Team Affinity points with, with those team cards. So you're going to only have six cards, like I said. One of them will probably be a pitcher. So for the other four guys on your squad that you're going to need to fill slots with, take one team from a division that you want to complete. So say you want that Gary Sanchez card or you want one of the other cards from another division. Take one team from that division and slot every empty slot with that team to try to get PXP with that team. That's going to help you do it as efficiently as possible. I hope that makes sense. So again, you're going to build the team with the cards that you have from the program, but you're, if you have any empty slots, I would slot in a team from the division that you want to complete first. So that's, that's a big tip for y'all. Okay, so you've completed the moments, you've completed the showdown, you've built your squad. Now, what you're going to want to do after that, you've built up a squad that you think is good for grinding PXP and all that. You're going to want to go over to... The conquests now. I've already finished the West Conquest. That nets you a lot of points. Go into whichever conquest you want to finish first. Doesn't matter. You're going to have to do all three of them anyway. Go in. Bang out these conquest games. Okay? Go in and bang out these conquest games and bang out these maps. That's going to be your step three, basically, after you've kind of built up 
as much of your team as you can with the cards in the program. And now as you're completing these conquests, as you're completing, you know, everything and completing more PXP missions, you're going to be unlocking more and more cards from each division. Just make sure that you're keeping up with how many cards you've unlocked and how close you are to each mission so that you're not overusing a certain card. Say you finish the mission, but he's still in your lineup when you could slot somebody else in. Make sure you're not doing that. Make sure you always have every slot in your lineup you need to make sure is working towards something. Once you finish that person's PXP mission, you could leave them in to get PXP for the team, but if you have another card that doesn't have its PXP mission done yet, I would switch them out, slot them in, rinse and repeat until you finish all the Captain Stat missions and all the Classics Henchman PXP missions. Now, I mentioned the Classics Henchman PXP mission. That's these ones right here. You go in here to the PXP. It's like the cards that you will get from this Classics pack here at 30k. It's all these cards here from each division. These are as well pxp missions they're not stat missions they're they're just the set pxp it's 500 for pitchers and 200 for uh hitters just like every other program in the game all right so you finish the conquest you finish the moments you finish the showdown next up is to grind team affinity um season three mini season so you're going to want to go back out here and you want to go into single player modes uh, many seasons and then you're going to click team affinity season three make sure you're doing the season three one because like season two season one the other team affinity vouchers do not count for the season three team affinity so as we go into here click on this we'll look at the goals real quick so see here on part one it says season three dubs for vouchers basically you win um every five mini season games one you get one voucher to exchange in the team affinity program now that one voucher is worth 4,000 team affinity points okay all right so the last thing i want to show y'all is this boss uh pxp mission once you've unlocked like the first boss which you should get it pr fairly quickly as you're progressing through many seasons and through all that initial stuff there's then pxp missions for each boss it's 3,500 team affinity points when you complete the pxp mission and then it's repeatable 5,000 team affinity points every time you get a thousand pxp with the bosses from that division so this is something that's going to help you progress after you've kind of already started and, and keep it keep the grind going so make sure you're using the bosses like once you get them don't just put them in your inventory and forget about them like it, it, they do matter so if you're trying to get to 100 percent, make sure you're maximizing your team as best as you can and getting those mini seasons vouchers and um doing that with the bosses as well so make sure you're sliding those guys in as well because they do have pxp missions and they do matter so one last tip i have for you guys for when you're playing mini seasons make sure whenever you play your home games you're playing at a stadium that's max elevation and super small so you can you can just hit nothing but home runs in the game and get that pxp for your hitters as quickly as possible so the stadium that i use you can look it up in the vault a lot of people use this stadium it's just the costco headquarters stadium the fences are really low and you can just hit tank after tank after tank and just grind that PXP out super, super easily. All right, boys, there you have it. It's how to complete your monthly awards and your team of family programs as quickly as possible. I hope this video helped you guys out. Please leave a comment below and tell me who you guys are most excited for in set three? Is it one of the set three bosses? Is it one of the uh, cards from Team Infinity? Is it Shohei Otani? Who, who are you looking forward to using the most in season three? And if this video helped you out, please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out when you do so. And I'll catch you guys in the next MLB video. Peace out.